dry. And then when you burn the, the thing inside, because it's humid, the sugar which is in the American oak crystallizes out and makes the product quite smooth. And this they are allowed to do because they're not adding sugar. That the gas is sweating some sugar, it's not therefore what, what it is supposed to do. And this is the only way you, you, you get the product smooth in respecting the rules which says no additives. And um, they started this a little bit as a joke. This is why the name Black Sheriff, it was not 100% serious. But the success was so impressive that since then it's uh, part of the normal range. Uh, uh, at the end, they like selling their product too. Um, for the most agricultural drinkers, like me, who are already used to the stuff, we don't like this one too much. Because if we would like to drink a smooth, round, mild rum, we would take molasses. So, um, for the most experienced drinkers, this is not so interesting. But for everybody who has never tasted agricole before, it's usually a little bit too aggressive. They say, ah, it's too hard, and why it's not sweet, and where's the banana, <laughs> and all this kind of stuff. Um, there you have it. For example, in France, when they do uh, old-fashioned cocktails, which you usually do with bourbon, they usually do it with this one. And you see how, how mellow he is and how sweet it's really. I mean, it, it, when it, when it. Smell it. It's like I don't know, 15 years old uh, uh, El Dorado and uh, Malaga. Yeah. D different, different. But it's only flavors. yeah. Flavors. But it's only a blend between four and five a year of age. Okay. But Caribbean aging, which means yeah. eight to twelve percent of angel share every year. Mm -hmm. It's um, aging happens much faster in tropical conditions than it happens over here. So when you say ah, I have a 15 year old rum which aged over here has nothing to do with a 15 year old run aged in the Caribbean because it's just not comparable. And it's the, this one is the perfect starter for all those who, who don't know agriculture yet. I would, I would never say this is agriculture. I, was, I would be sure this is a, a normal, normal run. No, no. Um, as far as I'm mean, concerned, uh, agriculture is normal, but no, I know it's not normal. normal. <laughs> 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 so a uh, little story about me. I present you my wife, Angela, um, who okay. actually yeah. teaches me nearly everything I know about that. Because um, before I met my wife, I was just a standard German, you know. I had drunk when I was 14, <laughs> Bacardi Cola, I didn't taste good the evening, the wakening was awful. <laughs> story over and I returned back to beer. Um, yeah, and then my wife made me discover this whole thing and I was like, okay, I like it, how can I buy it? Wasn't possible. So I was like, okay, so we got to import it and then we'll see what happens. And this uh, we are looking for for five years now. And um, as far as I'm concerned, I still like doing what I do. I have the impression people start appreciating the stuff, so for me it's perfect. And it's something I can do together with my wife. Usually, you know, he, she's, um, um, I don't know how you call it, making clothes. And I'm not really handy, I'm more working with my mouse, so we couldn't do this together, but wrong is possible. Then I show you a completely different one from the house of Dylan. French always say Dillon, because French always change names. The actual name is Dillon, because this distillery was founded by a former Irish infantry general who married a woman from Martinique, and because the woman from Martinique brought a lot of money within the relationship, 
They bought a plantation, they built a distillery, and that's how it started. So the name actually is English. And on the old bottles, the new bottlings don't show it anymore, but on the old bottlings, there was always an English soldier on it to show the origin of the, the General Dillon, who was also um, governor of Fennibert. Okay. <laughs> anyway, which is fun about this one, it's a new edition. Usually, BSOP means five years. And usually, you wouldn't make more out of it because then you would call it differently and you know get a higher price for it. For a reason I didn't get until now, this one is at least six years of age, so it could be an XO, but they decided to call it BSOP. Um, until now, I didn't get why, but it's much older than usual BSOP uh, rum is over in Martin. <coughs> if you ask yourself, how can it be that a former English infantry general is marrying a girl on a French Caribbean island and then founding its distillery, it's a very simple reason. Um, when there was the French Revolution um, under Robespierre, Robespierre, they decided to kill all noble people, especially on the islands, because they were all also slaveholders, so the ultimate enemy. Um, which means, for example, in Guadeloupe, all uh, colonists have been more or less killed. In Martinique, they choose a different way. They saw this whole thing coming, and they just changed sides. They became English until Robespierre left, and then they became French. Which means that the only um, colonist generation that survived in the French colonies was the one from Martinique. And the guy who was in charge for Martinique, while it was English by proper choice, was General Dill. This is how he met the girl and this whole stuff. What uh, Dylan says, the special thing about them is that their cane gets the most sun hours. Um, actually, I have to admit, I'm not 100% sure if this makes such a big difference. I'm in Martinique at least once a year. I don't think it makes a difference if you have 17 hours of sun every day or only 16 hours and 59 minutes. Um, I don't know. That's what they say. As far as I'm concerned, what I saw is that the soil they use for Dillon is the most humid soil I've ever seen on Martinique. They could also plant rice over there in a, in a water um, plantation. And um, this gives a special taste to the cane, as far as I'm concerned. The other thing that makes uh, Dillon different to most of the others, they have a very, very long tradition of working with independent cane harvesters and cane uh, farmers. So most of their cane that they use are produced by independent farmers, which have a um, completely different approach about the product. And they are also in cooperation sometimes for generations. So it makes a different approach compared to the others who are only using their own fields. If you like it or not, uh, I'm interested in, but at the end, um, the quality of, of all what I'm showing you is the same. It's highest quality possible, and the rest is taste. And when, for example, you go downstairs and you, ask, you go to no matter which rum stand and you ask them about rum agriculture for Martinique, nobody would say it's bad. Some of them would say, yeah, it's not my type, or it's not sweet enough, or it's this or this, but quality is worldwide undisputed. Taste is a different thing, but the quality, everything you can measure, where you put like numbers on it, Martinique rum is the best in the world, just by, by the letter. If you like it, it's a different question. This has uh, everybody to decide on its own. Mm -hmm. So, do you do you smell the difference between yeah. the two? Yeah. Yeah. And this is more like an archetype of an agriculture. This is very unusual. The first one, mm -hmm. the, the sweet one. Now we are coming the 
standard doesn't sound well, but it's uh, like the, the old-fashioned way agriculture is produced. No questions, nothing? Everybody's fine? Okay. Yes. It seems like we, bottle by bottle, we're getting to the better and better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I, I did the assortment that I started with the youngest, right. and we'll end up with the oldest. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> so far, the best for me. So, the next one we are presenting is from uh, the distillery of the Pass, which is also in Martinique. It's the oldest distillery of the, of the island. It's existing since 1651. There has been one short break of working in 1910, uh, 1902, the volcano, which is close to the distillery, exploded and um, killed about 70,000 people. In between, the whole family departs. There was just one survivor who was studying in Bordeaux. So the guy came back, married a rich girl, reconstructed the distillery, and since that, uh, that time, they say that this distillery is the most beautiful of Martinique. But um, it's also the oldest. What makes them special, they are only harvesting um, cane sugar, which is planted higher than 600 meters on the um, on an active volcano, still active, who is up to 1,700 meters. So he takes the water, once again, out of the clouds and not rainwater. Also, he's just on a, on a weather barrier between Atlantic weather and Caribbean weather. Caribbean weather is humid and not so much rain. Atlantic weather is very dry, but it's raining all the time. So when you're just on the barrier of the boats, of the two, you have a very interesting changing every time, every day, sometimes several times a day that you have a different microclima, which makes it for me, mm -hmm. one of my preferred rums in, uh, of Martinique. I like them all, but yeah. some of them I drink more often than others. You want to try too? Yes. Yeah, me too. Huh? <laughs> So this XO aged for at least 10 years in French old casks of um, the music hall. I'm looking back at of Martinique is a good place for going and getting married. Yeah, I met my wife in Eastern Germany, so uh, I didn't go to Martinique. <laughs> So <laughs> just round. <laughs> and the past is a little bit the one of the new stars of Martinique. Long time the the past rum was mostly drunken on the island and much less in foreign countries or France, because of his mineral heavy soil, he tastes a little bit different than most of the agriculture. And when people in abroad over here are trying agriculture, they are already into something special. They are already into finding new tastes. When you go to France, for them agriculture is the normal. So they are not forcefully searching for something new or something special. It just they drink the rum they always drink, and so if there's something different, it's the same like over here. They not always do appreciate this. So um, in, in in Germany, this is really one of, of my top sellers because they love it. <coughs> For them, ah, it's even more special than standard agriculture, and so they are into it. But it's like a, with a special vodka. Maybe in Germany you can sell it because we don't know anything about it anyway. But if you're going into a vodka region, suddenly the vodka has a different taste than usually. People do not always appreciate it. And this is a little bit the thing which was a problem for the past long time, which is, you might know better, um, changing right now, that really there's coming a huge community of fans behind it and saying, yeah, this is really something really, really good. So 
is there, is there a craft, uh, I mean, harvest happen once or twice a year in Martinique? Once a year. Just yeah. once a year? Yes. So how much rum they can produce if they produce only from the, from the island? I mean, oh, I mean, the, the exact numbers I no, can't no, really exact tell numbers, you, but, but it's it really round about this, yeah. 3 million liters. Three million liters. Yeah. Of all distillers together, yeah, not, yeah, not yeah, one distiller. Yeah. And the, 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 the problem is you can't um, raise the production because there are only certain areas allowed yeah. for cane. Okay. And they also have leveling how much you are allowed to, to harvest from every hectare. Because what they want is, on any case, only go on quality. So even if you have a lot of cane, yeah. you're only allowed to, to use a certain amount so that you choose the best cane to make a high quality product, that you never go into, okay, we're just doing the most. Because there is one big problem for these islands. They're part of France, they have the Euro. They have salaries higher than in Germany. I don't know Polish salaries, but I know German salaries, and they do earn sometimes more. So, and they have health insurance, vacation, yeah. all what we have over here too. When you go to the neighbor island, which you can see from the beach, when you're on the beach, you see the neighbor island, which is a different country. They earn $10 a, month, uh, uh, a day. And if they die, they don't earn anything anymore. And that's the end of the story. So you can never be competitive to this kind of production. So what they did all together, they decided, OK, we stop molasses production completely. And we'll focus on agriculture. Because agriculture is what makes us different. We are the only one who are making this by a long tradition. Agriculture is produced on, 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 on the islands for more than 300 years. But it was a production for the local people, usually. And then they started to say, okay, we're only doing this, and we're also going into export. And since that time, they're only going on quality. They're now the only area protected rum in the world, like cognac or champagne, which means also there are a lot of um, quality uh, charges on it. The production is the most uh, um, surveyed uh, production in the world of spirits. No spirit in the world is closer watched by government and so on comes back to the point, quality, quality, quality. Because if you go into mass production, mass production, mass production, the neighbor island, the neighbor country will always be cheaper. So don't try to be the cheapest, try to be the best. Because then nobody asks about a euro or two more. Um, to put in aside, to, to compare a little bit the, the past XO with another, um, aged rum was about the same age. I choose the XO from uh, HSE, the one who also made uh, Black Sheriff. Um, 